Hello everybody, today we will recreate three items from the grocery store. I chose the most interesting ones, namely Oreo ice cream, macaroons, and nuts in a cheese shell. Let's go. Let's start with the Oreo ice cream. Inside, under the packaging, there was a very tasty and unusual ice cream with Oreo cookie powder. Let's try this out. Let's make the cookies ourselves. Cut off 100 grams of butter, add to it a little bit of powdered sugar, and one egg. And beat this all with a mixer until smooth. Then pour in 150 grams of flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. Now we just need to open the cocoa powder and add it in for color. That's it, knead first with a spoon and then with your hands. Wrap the resulting dough in foil or saran wrap and let it rest for 20 minutes. Then coat in flour and roll it out. Cut off the edges and top it on the baking sheet. And into the oven at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. We crumble the resulting cake with our hands into really small crumbs. And then at the end, we'll go through it with a knife. For the filling itself, pour 50 milliliters of milk into a saucepan. We extract the yolks from two eggs and toss them into a saucepan. Pour in 100 grams of powdered sugar and just a minute for it to rise. And over medium heat, stirring constantly, we achieve this consistency. Now we need half a liter of cream with a fat content of 33%. Pour the whole package into the bowl. And all this needs to be whipped really well. Until the cream turns into a very thick foam. Then we pour our first mixture into it, the one that we cooked. Mix this again and fold in the crumbs. Mix it again and into the freezer it goes. Pour our crumbs, 50 grams of butter, the same amount of powdered sugar, one egg, a little flour, and cocoa. Now we just need to knead all of this so that the dough is as evenly distributed as possible. And we put one tablespoon of dough into a waffle iron. We remove the hot waffle and immediately wind it around the cone. Remember that all this waffle dough is stretchy while it's hot. As soon as it freezes a little bit, with any attempts to bend it, it will break. The chocolate cones are ready. The store-bought cone has a little bit of chocolate on top, so we will do the same thing. Dip the cones in melted chocolate, and the cone turns out to be really beautiful. Now our ice cream is ready. Therefore, we take a ladle soaked already in cold water, and we scoop the ice cream out, and top our cone with it, and sprinkle some crumbs on top. Now we've recreated the Oreo ice cream, only we made the ice cream itself better quality. This thing is much tastier than the ice cream that we bought at the store, and I was also surprised that the crumbs that we mixed into the ice cream did not get that wet. Therefore, it has a really pleasant crunch. Next in line, we have macaroons, or rather, a whole set of macaroons. The difficulty is that each macaroon has its own taste and color. Therefore, first we will deal with the fillings. Let's start with the nutty one. We need first hazelnuts. Take 70 grams of hazelnuts and grate them on a very fine grater. We're left with a very fine nut crumb. Pour 100 milliliters of milk into a saucepan and onto the stove. We're gonna wait for it to heat up and we're gonna pour in our nut crumbs. Evaporate the milk until all the nuts stick together into one mass. And this is not a ready-made cream, but just something that will add a nutty flavor. All right, and so that we also have raspberry taste, we puree some raspberries with a blender. After that, we divide a 400 gram pack of butter in half and add 150 grams of powdered sugar to each half. Using a mixer, beat the butter into powder. We're left with a kind of oily cream. And now comes the time to add the flavor. For the nutty one first, mix it up. And we'll do the same thing with the raspberry one. We get two of these super tasty and oily creams. We put them in some cooking bags. The chocolate cream will make some chocolate. So let's break open a bar and throw it into the saucepan. Also add half a bar of dark chocolate. Pour a little bit of fat cream and achieve a very viscous chocolate consistency. Pour all of this into the pastry bag as well. And now for the last cream, the lemon one. The first of two lemons, we get rid of the whole zest. Then we press our hand tightly to the table and roll it out. That way the innards of the lemon will be broken and the juice will be squeezed out more easily. In the same bowl with the juice, we add the zest of three lemons. 
break three eggs into another bowl. Pour in 125 grams of sugar and mix it all by hand with a whisk. Pour the beaten eggs into the lemon juice, cut off 100 grams of butter, and cut that into smaller pieces. Throw the pieces into the main bowl and put it on a steam bath. A little bit later, we're gonna add some starch to thicken it all up some. When the cream has thickened, we throw some ice into some cold water and put our bowl of cream on top. Cool the cream, stirring with a whisk. We then pour this mixture into a cooking bag. That's it, the creams are ready. Now we just need to make the actual cookies for the macaroons themselves. There are two main ingredients, powdered sugar and almond flour. Measure out exactly 200 grams of almond flour and sift through a sieve into a bowl. Exactly the same amount of powdered sugar is needed. We mix all of this together and the dry mixture is ready. Now we need a wet one so that we are left with a dough. Separate the whites from four eggs. It is very important that they are at room temperature because then they will be whipped longer and will be able to aerate as much as possible. We begin to pour in sugar little by little without stopping our mixing. In total, you need to pour in 180 grams. Now the meringue is as thick as possible. We transfer this to our dry mixture and we mix it all together thoroughly. The dough is basically ready, but we have four different colors. Therefore, we separate the dough into four bowls, and we add a little bit of different dye to each one. All right, now we mix them up. We colored this one brown with cocoa. We put each color of the dough separately into a cooking bag, and that's it, now we're ready to make some macaroons. Now we try to squeeze out the dough in the same amount so that the macaroons are all the same size. Now we beat the baking sheet a little bit on the table and just leave the dough to dry like that for about half an hour and in the oven at 160 degrees for 15 minutes. And that's it, you get these half-baked, half-baked ones. Now we just squeeze out the necessary types of cream for each color and top with a second cookie. That's it, it's done. And we're left with these macaroons. What we have done is nothing compared to the ones you get at the store. Probably the most important thing is to make a delicious cream. The whole taste depends on just this. To be honest, the macaroons turned out to be restaurant quality. And the last grocery store item for today is peanuts in a cheese shell. It's as simple as possible to do this, but things kind of got complicated for us because we have peanuts in their natural shell and we have to shell them. When the peanuts are cleaned, we need some corn starch, any flour on hand, and some cheese topping for popcorn. You can find this anywhere on the internet. In the first bowl, pour some flour, then the cheese powder, and some starch. And mix this all up. And pour half of the mixture into the second bowl. Pour a little bit of water into one of them. Knead it, and pour in all the peanuts there. At first, we did everything manually. And that is, we took out one nut from the batter, put it into the dry mixture, and then rolled it into a ball with our hands. But it would take a very long time for us to do this, so we poured all the nuts in at once into the dry mixture. Then we divide the nuts with our hands and just sift out all the excess through a colander. We only pick out the nuts because there are just pellets of dough left inside. That way, we have saved a lot of time. And we would save even more if the peanuts were already peeled. So pour some oil into the saucepan. Now heat it up. And we'll put the nuts in the fryer for just a couple of seconds. Then we dump them on paper towels. Now we'll wait for them to cool down and the nuts in the cheese cell are completely ready. And this is a great snack to have on hand. Or in place of popcorn while watching a movie. If you would like us to continue with these videos, then just like this video. 200,000 likes and we will make a new video in this series. Also, let me know what else you would like me to recreate from the store.